Okay, so what I did um, is I put the salsa in the jar and I added different things for a, a picnic that's sort of magazine ready. Now, for me, I'm not a magazine ready kind of girl. I wouldn't haul this a lot of places. I wouldn't. A magazine is excellent because it gives you ideas. I would go on my porch on a rainy night and just bring it out, okay? It says you could use and invite girlfriends and go and sit on a quilt on a meadow. Well, good luck. Good luck because it's hot. I would wait till fall and I might take it to a park or something. But right now, these are just the ideas. Since you're waking, since you're using it for adults or for your family, I also found some unusual like soda pop to add to this. Some of this is a trip down memory lane, some of the nostalgia. I found this at Miller's Hardware Store in Winter Park. I know. You can find anything. You can find anything there. Sun drop in a bottle. Um, the knee high. Well, I'll go this way. Okay. So that came out of the magazine straight away. I love magazines because they give me an idea of what to do. I don't live in magazine ready life. Clearly I don't. And I'm sort of lazy. But I love to prep something that makes it look like you tried really hard. Something homemade, like a salsa, can make a huge difference. You make a homemade this, you bring store-bought chips, you make a little skewer action, and maybe buy a, a sweet treat at the grocery store and wrap it up in parchment, and it looks like you tried really hard, um, but it's enjoyable and you're not taking a lot of your time. Over here, we're going to start um, with more kid-friendly, family-friendly picnics. The first thing I'm going to show you, and again, I took this idea from Real Simple Magazine in the month of April. They suggested, and it's, I'm showing this only because it's a little teeny blurb of an idea. It's not like it was a whole article and I went through Google to get all of this. Little blurb, tore it out, no scissors involved, put it in a baggie and set it aside because I figured I could use it later in the world. Well, on Thursdays on the porch I can use it today. The blurb tells us that you can just use packing paper instead of a tablecloth when you're outside. If you're out in the, on the playground and they have the wooden, um, tab uh, the wooden tables, go ahead and cover it with something like this. You can add crayons or it's just easy, it's cheap, and it's very light to carry. Magazines, again, will tell you, use a quilt and use a family heirloom. Good luck to that. You're welcome to do that. I would not do that at my house. I would, however, take this in, roll it up, roll it out, take a little masking tape, and then I'd throw it away. So it's an easy part. This came out of May 2011, Better Homes and Gardens. I have magazines everywhere. I tear it out and eventually I go ahead and recycle, but I keep my little ideas with me so I can use them. They suggested for the next kid party that you have that you use a Frisbee as like a charger plate. Oh, see, this is what I'm after. That's exactly what I'm after. So it's a charger. So it's a little bit heavier, okay, on a, on a summer day in case it, it won't blow away and it gives you a chance to put this on the table for your kids. Cheap, cheap and fun and it's theirs. So I like that idea. You know how I did skewers over there with fancy? I did mozzarella balls, okay, and I, then I had a little blackberry. Doubtful that a small kid or even a, a middle-aged student would, would like that kind of food. But... I decided that we're going to use like a buffet on the go for a child or a kid friendly picnic. In this little hoo ha, okay, it has kid friendly vegetables and fruit and sandwiches. They take this little plate, it's all, it's good and heavy, so it's on your, you know, you put it on the middle of your, of your picnic table and you supply them can't be for little, little guys, but you supply them with their own utensils. Kids love this. They love to be able to choose what they want to eat. And if you make it sort of user friendly, they can have a grape and a banana. Some might choose a tomato, but it can go right on their plate. Okay? It's self contained. This is an awesome little thing. It has ice underneath. You guys see them, you see them in all different kinds of stores. But it gives you a sense of you're not hauling all these little packages in your um, picnic basket. You have a picnic on the go. Something else I did is I made little sandwiches. Now granted, here again, this is sort of magazine ready because I, I wouldn't do that. First off, I have a college student, so it, it would be lost. It would. <laughs> but you can use a 
biscuit cutter, and you can make little sandwiches. Kids like small food. They like to be able to choose. This, when I say this, it's just one of these jobs. It's sort of wasteful. I will, uh, that, I'll say it out loud, it's a little wasteful, but it's fun, and it's not like you're gonna take these sandwiches every week and pack lunches. So you end up doing a biscuit cutter with cheese, okay? And then you end up, and you have a little sandwich too. So, uh, again, that's what I'm after. And they can be skewer ready, okay? All righty. Um, on that same line, you can do little teeny sandwiches and triangles. These, this is like preschool ready, but during the summer, it's just fun. It's an extra detail that makes it fun for kids to go on a picnic. You can also use this little sandwich cut and seal. Many of you have seen these before. They make like little flying saucers, okay? They're, they're crustables if you buy them in, in the freezer ready. They're very fun to make at home. A kid can make this with you. It's two slices of bread. I needed an opportunity to buy Nutella for my house. I did. I really did. I wouldn't buy it normally, but for today, and you're welcome, I bought it for myself. I put Nutella. I used um, a strawberry. I used an egg slicer. I love my egg slicer because it uses, it can do almost anything. It can slice any soft vegetable. So a little bit of Nutella, two slices of bread, and sliced tomatoes, I mean sliced um, strawberries, and it's an excellent little sandwich. Again, you're not going to really use it a whole bunch, but it's delicious. <laughs> Jacqueline's going, you got me with the Nutella. I know. It's an awesome, awesome idea. Um, and finally, you don't have to have fancy products. You can use cookie cutters. You can use a knife. Just make it a different, something different for your kids to be outside. They can be outside. All of this can be indoors. It can be in your garage if it's a rainy day. It can be on the back porch. You can use self-contained baskets. It's just a paper thing I got at the store. Or you can use just a box that you get. You can get these at um, like Michael's or whatever. And you can use all this idea, pack it up, close it up, put a little ribbon, and it's that little teeny detail that says, gosh, I cared enough to make it pretty. And people like that. Little kids like it, friends like it, church people like it, everybody likes it. So that's the picnic on the go and those are our ideas for today.